All right, so today we have a 2020 GMC Explorer conversion van. It's a GMC Savannah that's been completely retrofitted. It's got a six liter Vortec V8 engine, made it to a six speed automatic transmission. And this conversion was done by Explorer. And this is the limited SC model, so it's loaded with every feature you could imagine. And we're gonna get to that here in a minute. First of all, you've got this custom grill. You got custom LEDs in the bumper. You've got the raised roof. got these custom 20 inch wheels this thing is just immaculate power running boards with LED lighting and the step rail here you got power door locks power windows and power mirrors and you've got I don't know how many speakers are in here but you've got JL audio there got a tweeter there I mean, they're all throughout the cabin, which we'll get to here shortly. Gonna take a look at the cargo area. Still got plenty of room to stack several suitcases. And then in here, you've got, if you ever have a blowout or something, some tire, um, to reinflate the tires. Then you've got your a vacuum here. And of course, there are gonna be power outlets throughout. And then you've got your tow hitch if you need to pull something. Now let's get to the good stuff. There's your power running board again. Gonna hop in here. You've got Apple TV. Blu-ray player. If you wanna hook up an Xbox or a PlayStation, you can do that. Wireless charging pad. Some more JL Audio speakers. You've got that custom glass on the high roof going all the way to the back on both sides. And then I'll show the interior lighting here in a minute. You've got room for seven passengers in the back. So up to nine people can ride in this big boy. More JL speakers. Illuminated cup holders throughout. It's just so comfortable back here. The leather is just fantastic. And then one of my favorite parts about this van is the rear sunroof. Just take all that in. Just love that. And you've got pretty good viewing area from any seat in the back. Check out that television. And next we're gonna go to the front, see what's going on for the driver. And of course you have blinds throughout as well. Forgot to touch on that. And 
both of these seats are power and heated. Now before I forget, I'm gonna show you these lights we have going on here. So you can control from the front. But you can definitely see them a lot better at night, but. So like I said, your seats are heated You've got different settings. Recline. Move the seat back. Just about any way you could think of putting these seats, you can move them. And with your Explorer van package, you've got nav, not one, but two backup cameras. And then you've got Bluetooth audio, you've got XM traffic, Pandora, AM, FM, XM radio, it's everything you can need. You've even got lane cube assist, four collision alert, and blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Here's a three prong plug right there, one of several. Got cup holders here, but on top of that, you got a little ice chest there to keep your drinks cold. And the last thing we're gonna do is just take a look at what's under the hood. Because with all these amenities, and this being such a a monster of a van got to make sure you've got the right power pushing it and that's that 6.0 Vortec V8 engine all up in there sorry about that loud thud I didn't know it was going to be that loud And next, we're gonna take this one out on the road for a quick test drive and see how it's gonna handle. So this isn't really necessarily negative, but this does drive like a huge passenger van, which is what it is, but it's just something to be mindful of. This isn't like driving a Suburban or like driving a, a truck, it's, it's big. I feel like I'm driving a, a 2500 almost, just how careful I'm being, because it's it's a big boy. And just driving through this neighborhood, I have to be mindful of everything around me. But for the most part, it's, um, it's, it's relatively quiet in here. I can hear the engine. It's a six liter Vortex, so I wouldn't expect anything less, but it, um, it's a big van.
it, it handles well though just going through this neighborhood feedback is pretty stiff in the steering wheel which is which is good for a vehicle this size and it's not like you're gonna need a CDL license for it or anything so that shouldn't scare you away with it being so big but like I said you just have to be mindful of it it's tall it's not necessarily wide but it's very top heavy And the ride is somewhat bouncy, kind of like on a bus. It accelerates pretty well. For a vehicle this size, it, it accelerates for how fast you need it to go. And with this being such a large vehicle, it is helpful to have the blind spot monitoring. Because especially on the passenger side, you're gonna need it because you can't really look out the windows. We're gonna give it a little throttle here just to see how it moves merging on the interstate. So not the best, but it's okay. gonna cruise it around 70 here and see how it does not bad the seats definitely make the ride more yeah the ride would definitely be a lot worse without these plush seats so Explorer definitely did a good job with those because it makes the ride much more comfortable and there are quite a few cool features on this van because Forward collision alert is not something that you get out of a, a Savannah van. And it's cool having that on here, especially for people who might be driving around with a lot of kids or on a big trip with a bunch of friends and it's easy to get distracted. So having that forward collision alert kind of keeps you on your toes. That along with the lane keep assist. And sitting here at idle, it's it's pretty quiet. I mean, I can hear the Vortec even over the AC, but it's nothing bad. Let's see what other features are on here. I think that was it.
And I mean, you don't really get these for the driving experience, but for people who are gonna get this for family trips and traveling, you know, it's good to know how it's gonna drive and how it's gonna perform out on the road to make sure that you can get from point A to point B as safely as possible. But whoever's riding with you is definitely gonna be having a good time. Like I said, you've got Apple TV, you've got Blu-ray player, You've got a Wi-Fi hotspot, so you could even run it off of that. But I mean, most people, I shouldn't say most, a lot of people have personal hotspots on their phone. So that's how you can stream your Apple TV with no problem. Even play games online. And even after driving this just around the, the block, the driving isn't as bad as you'd expect. Like I've already gotten used to driving this pretty much. It does take getting used to because it doesn't drive like a car. It doesn't drive like a truck. It drives more like a, like a big rig in the sense that just how the seating is made. Because really the seats are made to absorb the, the elements, if you will. The Vortec, it does have some power to it. I'll give it that. For pushing such a, a big machine. But I mean, I'm averaging 11 miles a gallon, so. That's to be expected with a, an engine so big. But I mean, most people are gonna be doing outdoor stuff with this, traveling, and that's what you're gonna get out of an RV or an excursion or something like that anyway so nothing surprising i do wish gm would especially for explorer conversions we'll look into something like an ecoboost engine or something like that because i'm going to review a transit van that was also done by explorer and it's got a 3.5 liter twin turbo v6 and i just feel like that's going to drive better and get better gas mileage but I'll find out soon enough. But that's the review of the 2020 GMC Savannah 2500 Explorer Conversion Van.